Hello everyone, we are from group 6 of Plant Protection C is now going to talk about propagation and deployment of weeds. And these are the group members of group 6 from Indonesia and the Philippines. In this material, we are going to talk about the definition of propagation, about generative and vegetative propagation, and about weed deployment. Now let's talk about the definition of propagation itself. What is propagation? Well, propagation is the process of multiplying the number of plants of the same species while at the same time perpetuating their characteristics. There are two general methods of weed propagation, which are generative or sexual propagation and vegetative or asexual propagation. Generative or sexual propagation Weeds have two types of generative propagation. There are propagation by seed and by spore. Uh, by seed, reproduction by seed requires pollination and fertilization of eggs. Seeds are made up of three parts, which are endosperm, seed coat, and embryo. When a seed matures in a optimal conditions, it will germinate and actively grow. And then by spore. Spore is single cell haploid and produced by meiosis in the sporangium. When the sporangia break open, the spores are released and dispersed by the bean. Under favorable condition, spore can develop into a new organism by mitotic division. Weeds can produce a multicellular gametophyte and gametes. Vegetative asexual propagation In vegetative propagation, a new plant develops from a vegetative organ such as stem, root, and leaf. Several modifications of these organs are common in perennial weeds such as rhizomes, tolerance, corn, bulbs, and tuber. Rhizome Rhizome is a horizontal, underground stem which can produce adventices root and shoot at the nodes. This rhizome can be distinguished from a root because they have nodes, inner nodes, and scale leaf. The example is Panisum repens. Stolon Stolon is an above ground stem that grows flat on the ground and can produce adventices root and shoot at the nodes. The example is Digitaris sanguinalis. Comb Comb is vertical, placy, underground stem that acts as food storage structure. It bears membranous or scaly leaf and buds. Unlike in bulbs, they do not appear as visible ring when the corm is cut in half. The example is Romulea rusea. Vegetative propagation. Bugs specialize underground storage organ that consists of a relatively large, usually globe-shaped, and fleshly overlapping leaves arising from a short stem at the base. Tuber Tuber is an enlarged terminal portion of rhizomes, possess extensive storage, storage tissues and axillary buds. Tubers are usually short, thickened, and typica typically grow underground. Weed Deployment Weed deployment or weed spread can be defined as movement and subsequent establishment of a weed species in new areas. There are, there are three main mechanisms of weed spread. One is natural spread or physical activity. Two is wild and feral animal activity. And three is human activity. The first mechanism of weed deployment is by natural spread. Natural spread of weed caused by the wind, animal curry, and water, hydrocurry. Animal curry can occur both naturally and forcefully. The wind carries spores or seeds away from their parents to find new areas that are suitable to grow into new plants, whilst Hydrocurry or seed spread by water can occur through river or sea. This process can carry seeds that are generally light and 
have well protected embryo. The second mechanism of weed deployment is wild and feral animal activity or zucchori. Animals are significant contributor to the spread of weeds. Many species of weeds use animal dispersion as natural part of their life cycle. Some seed pods are designed to pass through the digestive tract of birds or mammalian herbivores. Other seeds can cling to animal fur with sticky hair and hook spines allowing them to move to a new location. The third mechanism of weed deployment is by human activity. Human activity induced spread includes the movement of weeds by people and by the use of items such as machineries, vehicles, grain, and feed that are contaminated. Human induced spread is seen as the most prolific form of weed deployment. This is because seeds are generally moved in larger number through humans and their activity than by the other means. And that's it, our presentation about propagation and weeds deployment. Thank you for your attention.